Gemini, be proud of yourself. You are making it on your own. It's taken some time. And there still is some work to be done. But in your faith and releasing the fear and moving forward for yourself, because you're already knowing no one else can do it for you. You've got to do it for you. Um, you have come through with leaps and bounds, just surprising the hell out of yourself. And I congratulate you because it does. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of faith to get to where you are. So in these Ascension energies, um, I'm hearing the message of just keep going, keep moving forward. And before you know it, you will be the strong leader and light worker that your authenticity is because you'll be sharing your words of wisdom. You already are. Your words of wisdom and your knowledge of how this world works and how you build your heaven on earth. Thank you for joining us. This is Catherine and Tanya, the Twin Flame Mystique 1111. And now I'm going to hand it over to Tanya. <coughs> she is already pulling cards for y'all. Um, and again, this is an energy, Ascension energy update. So uh, it's, still the, it's still the it's still, Lionsgate yeah, energy. Yeah, still Lionsgate. Anyway. Yeah, and then we have this um, uh, another uh, full moon that's a lunar eclipse coming. It's in... Uh, uh, Aquarius again so um, yeah so let's see what's what's coming up for you here all right so we have the come together card so you're coming together with uh, it doesn't have to be a romantic person but it could be um, you could be collaborating and this is going to result in a spark mm. so that is all your creativity because you have a lot of creativity you have a lot of passion about Whatever it is that you do on your journey. But also right now, it's the time for all of us with Dry Desert to be very resilient. Mm -hmm. Very adaptable mm -hmm. and very resilient. And you have to, you have to keep the faith uh, with the universe knowing that, you know, what you're trying to manifest is, is really already here. Mm -hmm. So we have finances and career. And codependency. And this codependency is around finances and career. Um, that's going to be your your big soul lesson for this, for this period. Also, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. It's hard to keep a high vibration sometimes. Especially when, with all the karmic endings, with everything that's happening... Um, there's a lot of things with uh, families right now, families and friends. It's like, a, you know, it's like a make it or break it. And if the people can't make it with you, well, then they get left behind because you don't want to stay in their, in their low that. vibration. That's right. That's right. As simple as that. Exactly. And for you on the Twin Flame journey, we have Twin Flame Five Zero Happiness. From a distant gaze, your eyes met mine. Our hearts smiled because it knew that we had found each other once again. Happiness was felt in the core of our being as this moment was our twin flame awakening. Mm -hmm. It's all about being in the present moment. Yeah. And not worry of, worrying about what's not working out um, or what hasn't happened yet. And just know that it's coming. So you have focus on divine and perfect health. And this, yes, are, are 3D physical bodies, but right now, more than anything, it's about keeping your vibration high. Yeah, it's about your spiritual health. Because you have, you have answered prayers. This is a heart shocker. You have answered prayers. Mm -hmm. um, you've been doing good work. Mm -hmm. And 
Then we have the failure card for soul lessons. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Right. So you learn and you move on. Right. And just don't be stuck in, you know, other people's other people's nonsense. Exactly. So we have the tower card and the heart. There's going to be a restructuring. There's something that you've been building um is going to have to come down because it's not going to be a vibrational match. It's like a recalibration, a restructuring. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to cause you to go inside with the Hermit card mm -hmm. to really figure out what it is that you want. It's going to bring, this is going to bring you clarity. Right. So... You know, the tower is really not a bad thing. It's a good thing because we don't want something that's on faulty foundation, something that's not going to work. It has to be torn down. It's got to be on solid ground. All right. Let's see swords. We have the emperor. We have the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Hmm. And they are not, uh, they're facing away from each other. Mm -hmm. She does not look happy. He doesn't look happy either. Yeah. Um, there may be a very controlling person in your life that you don't resonate with. Yeah. This person, you know, needs to go. Yeah. Because it's like just not a vibrational match. Mm -mm. Whether this is the romantic person or it could be a friend, family member, boss, whatever it is. But you're going to start looking at things from a completely different perspective. Right. And you know, I'm hearing when it comes to this, I'm hearing that um, it you're receiving um, validation. You're receiving validations for something that you were already knowing. But being who you are, being the light that you are, um, you know, always uh, trying to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Um, yeah, your experiences already, your life experiences have already shown you that um, that's just not the way energy works. You already know. If something is out of balance, it will continue to come around being out of balance mm -hmm. until you can just simply release it and let it go. You know, send it off, person, place, thing, job, whatever, with <clears throat> peace, love, and light, and for the highest good of all. And be on your way. Because as you are in your authenticity owning your path in your life everyone else is in the same boat and if they choose not to that's not your problem all right so yeah these these karmic karmic situations karmic people karmic whatever they have to be left behind because the only thing that they do is bring our vibration down and mm -hmm. that that interferes with our ability to manifest what it is that we're we're wanting to manifest so you're going to gain clarity about the situation mm -hmm. with the emperor mm -hmm. um you know i just see as a very controlling you know it could be a, a person or it could be a job it could be anything but you're done with that you're like uh, no no and that's when you'll get your wish with the star card and right. also the healing. Mm -hmm. So we have number 32, which is a five, Merkaba. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, yes. merging the totality of our experience into our present to serve our highest purpose. Yes. So that's why these karmic things have to... They've got to go. Have to go. Right. Because they're just going to interfere with your your manifestations. Right. That you have options is meaningful. Rock on. If I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. 
I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance just as you now are to the lives of so very many. And of course, I'd wish for even more wishes. Oh shoot. You are such a good idea, the universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a good message. Yeah. Enjoyment. Again, with living in, the, living in the moment, striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. Beautiful. Let me see about this. Yeah, this this emperor situation is just it's a block. It's causing a block, a stalemate. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, something that that you're not seeing. But with the ace of swords, you know, you're you're gonna have your clarity and you're gonna know how to move forward. Right. Because whatever this, this emperor energy is is just lying, cheating, stealing. Right. Mm -hmm. No good. Right. No good at all. So whoever, whatever this emperor is in your life needs to, he's got to go. Yeah. So you can have your manifestation. You got to release them because they become, they stay attached to your energy until you detach them because they don't know any better, but you do. Yeah, Malachite, prosperity. Lovely. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Excellent. All right, Gemini, that's your reading. That's um, pretty good. Deal with that emperor, and your manifestations are, are really going to start coming in for you. Thank you guys so much, and please like and subscribe.